during COVID, we decided to have my parents live with us. I tell people regularly that I eternally appreciate y'all took a chance on the hoodlum. I was a little leery. My mother told me, y'all got Linda going up to the college, and she, <laughs> she ain't messing with nothing but a crook. <laughs> I ain't never have a father. In the projects in Detroit, we didn't have many fathers in households. Everything I know about fatherhood, mm -hmm. I learned it from you. I just followed his mentorship. They gave me a room that I could stay in in their house because by that time, my mom died my first couple months in college. And so for that, the least I can do is welcome them into our home now. It's called paying it forward. How's granddad? After 63 years, they don't know how to be apart now. To be That's able to keep right. each other entertained for 63 years. <laughs> I'm only on year four. Cool. I'm on 37 this year, yes. So how do you All keep right. the romance alive? Oh, you thank know. you. Huh? You know, before this, we used to do a lot of stuff. So do you feel now the romance died down any? Have you stepped it up or like? I'll say this, you know, after you get the kids out the house, mm -hmm. it goes, woo. Way up. And then it crashes? No, it doesn't crash. <laughs> you kind of level off for a little while. You might hit a dip here and there. Like anything else, marriage is not easy. What did I tell you? To make sure when you go to sleep at night oh, yeah. that you are wearing something that looks sexy. <laughs> Dips are okay because as long as you can make that dip come back up. Which other sleeping? I refuse to tell you that. <laughs>